Hey guys, I'm not going to keep you too long. I'm going to try to get you to sleep. I'm going to give you five tips that are going to get you the perfect night's sleep. Okay. Number one, blue light. Avoid blue light, especially at night. Harvard did a study at 2014, Harvard Medical School, and they found that excessive uh, exposure to blue light it interferes with the sleep hormone melatonin, which interferes with the circadian rhythm. So looking at your like media devices, TVs, laptops, uh, phones at night uh, can, can create a problem. And the, the, the remedy for this, and oh, anecdotally, it also, these, the study they found, it also leads to things like depression, obesity, certain types of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and so forth. But the remedy is pretty simple, and I'm gonna give it to you right down below. You can actually download an app called Flux, and you can put that on your phone or on your TV, and it, as the day goes on, it, it, it starts dimming the blue light. It's a really simple app to, to use. Another thing is I went on Amazon, and I picked up for just a few bucks these glasses. They're called blue blockers. See that? <laughs> and they work really well, and they, they in turn block the blue light. Okay, so blue light, Especially at night, start start. You know, blue light is beneficial in the morning; it gets you gets you going. But at night, you want to start reducing the blue light. Number two, cool out. No, seriously, you need to chill out. And there, there's been lots of research on this. They found that if you if you reduce your body temperature at night by about 1.2 degrees, uh, it has a, a fantastic uh, ability for you to get right to sleep into a deep sleep. And I think there's there is a sweet spot for this, and I think I wrote it down somewhere. But I think it's 16.1 degrees Celsius or 61 degrees Fahrenheit if you're in the US, okay? Um, I, overheating is, is a problem, and we've talked about a lot of this on our, when we talk about pillows and different types of foams and stuff like that, but what overheating does, it creates hyperventilation, and then you, your oxygen concentration, your blood oxygen starts going down, and that really affects the sleep. And so you wanna, you wanna chill the room down just a bit, okay? And try to hit that sweet spot. Another uh, thing you could do to increase your melatonin would be cherry juice. I just found that out, just read that, or, or eating cherries. So, okay, the third thing would be, um, probably a really important one, is get a decent, get the best you can afford, get a decent mattress and a decent pillow. And we've talked a lot about this, and, and um, it's, for temperature, like this would be memory foam. And I love the way it feels, but I hate the way it functions because it keeps you hot, and, and it's, 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 it's toxic, and it's, 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 it's a petroleum product. Uh, on the other thing, uh, latex is, is natural. It's it's a uh, it's a natural material, and it breathes, and it's, and it's very lovely to sleep on. Really good material to get if you want to get a pillow. Get you know if you can try to get latex or latex mattress or latex pillow. Okay. Um, the next one, and I get this all the time in my practice. People say, "Oh, Ian, if I just exercise, I'm going to get right to sleep." And you know that's probably the worst advice you can get. It's a, it's a real dumb thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say dumb? I said dumb. Oh yeah, it is dumb. Okay, you want to start winding down, and especially at night, you, at least two hours. Exercise in the morning, fine, perfect. But in the evening, you want to at least two hours before you go to bed. You want to try to start winding down, and uh, like what I would do sometimes, I pick up a book and I read it, like maybe fiction or something like that. And it's it's a, it's a lovely way to to start winding down and get you in the zone to sleep. And then last thing, and this is really an important one because most people miss this, is routine. And routine is so important. And there's so much research on this. Get this, folks. If you go to bed, and this is seven days a week, you want to go to bed the same time every single night and wake up the same time every day. That's seven days a week. And if you just stick to this, stick to this for about two or three weeks, you're going to get this. These five tips will do it for you. If you like what we say, like us down below, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.